the American superstar is reportedly dating little-known British actor Joe Alwyn, best known for his titular role in celebrated director Ang Lee's 2016 film Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk. According to The Sun, Taylor has gone incognito while renting a house in leafy North London suburb Crouch End, where Joe still lives with his parents, in order to be closer to her new man. A source told the publication. She's been walking around with Joe in London using disguises, like scarves and hats, to keep her identity under wraps. Nobody has a clue they've been walked past a music superstar, not even her new neighbors. This isn't a new couple alert or a secrets relationship, the only people this has been a secret to is the media, because all of us, Taylor and Joe's closest friends and their families, were aware they have been together for several months and have known each other for a long time. But as Joe joins an illustrious list of boyfriends that already includes Jake Gyllenhaal, Joe Jonas, Harry Styles, Calvin Harris, John Mayer and Tom Hiddleston, exactly how does he compare? From the first reading, from halfway in the first scene, there's no doubt he's top-notch talent, director Lee recalled. I was worried. Is he too handsome? But then his face is so compelling. It doesn't matter. Looking back at their first meeting, casting director A.V. Kaufman added. Joe came with a backpack with like one pair of underwear. He had not a clue he was going to stay. When I met him in person, he was just like how he was in the tape. I'd never been to America and I was told I'd be going home the next day," Joe told the Evening Standard of that first audition. So I turned up with a tiny little rucksack and a pair of boxers and a t-shirt. He told The Hollywood Reporter. In many ways, he's a long long way away from me. I'm from London and he's a Texan soldier. But at the heart of it, the story is about a boy finding his place in the world. Although that takes place within this framework of this halftime show and the war and all these bigger things swirling around him, its heart is something very relatable. Two months after his film debut, he landed another major role in an adaptation of Julian Barnes' Booker winning the sense of an ending.